Hey there, hobby friends. I'm Jared, and this is Caffeinated Miniatures. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This was supposed to be a very different video. See, we picked up Marvel United a couple of months ago. It's an excellent game, and I've had an absolute blast playing it with my wife and daughter. As an added bonus, it's got these brilliant, fun miniatures. I've been wanting to paint them up for quite a while, and this week, I decided the Hulk would be a quick and fun paint job. And well, I was kind of right, but mostly wrong. Let's get into it. These minis are molded with a slightly softer plastic than, say, Games Workshop uses, which made them a little more difficult to clean up. I really wasn't too concerned with getting it perfect, though. So between the X-Acto blade and these nail files, I did a half-assed job of cleaning up the mop. Then I got into the fun of painting the skin. Now I recently picked up the starter box of speed paints from the Army Painter. So after priming up with Wraithbone, I slopped on some orc flesh. After giving the speed paint a good 24 hours to cure, I started building the volumes with a mix of Vallejo Deep Green and Citadel Flash Gets Yellow. Unfortunately, this reactivated the speed paint, leading to a very muddy and desaturated look, which is definitely a topic for a future video. Rather than fighting with it, I decided to prime the mini again, this time with black. Starting over, I base coated the skin with deep green. Starting from a black base coat meant I wanted to start with a darkest shadow and build from there. Then I began building the volumes with a mix of Vallejo Dark Green, Sunny Skin Tone, and Citadel Flash Gets Yellow. Adding more and more of the latter two as I went. Probably about 90% of the way through the skin, I realized that I really wasn't happy with the volumes that I'd done, or the vibrancy of the skin. It just felt lacking. So I did what I normally do in these scenarios. I stopped what I was doing and made some coffee. Coming back to the model, I decided to slop a couple coats of deep green on and start over again. This time with a renewed sense of what I wanted to accomplish. I really tried to focus on the direction of light here, thinking of the light source, in this case the sun, as kind of being over the right shoulder of the Hulk. This really helped inform where each of the highlights really should be. Once more, I began establishing volumes, this time dropping the sunny skin tone altogether, as I felt it was decreasing the overall vibrance of the skin. Happier with how the skin was coming along, finally, I mixed in more and more Flash Gets Yellow to the highlights, creating a final skin tone that I was much more satisfied with. Third time is a charm, I guess. Moving on to the Hulk's pants. The classic look for the pants is purple. And there's good reason for this. Because green and purple are opposite from each other on the color wheel, they're what we refer to as complementary colors, which is just a fancy way of saying they, they look good together. I was not about to rock the boat here, so I mixed a tiny amount of black into Vallejo purple for a darker, slightly desaturated shadow color. To keep the painting time down and to give the pants a bit of a worn and haggard appearance, I didn't worry about smooth transitions between layers. I began mixing in some ice yellow into the purple and laid the paint down with quick, sketchy brush strokes. I used less water than I normally would here, just enough to allow the paint to flow smoothly off the brush. This ensured a more significant bump in color with each layer. With the bulk of the model complete, I tackled the hair. As the Hulk's hair is black, I needed to ensure enough of the black base coat was uncovered for it to read as black, while adding enough highlights to give it some shape and depth. 
Starting with Vallejo Dark Blue Grey, I painted thin lines onto the hair, trying to create some more volume and depth. Adding some cold white to the grey, I repeated the process with finer and finer lines over a couple of layers. After chucking some paint on the eyes, tongue, teeth and eyebrows, I moved on to the base. Beginning with the concrete and stone rubble, I base coated all with dark blue grey, adding texture and highlights by working in cold white in increasing amounts over a couple of layers. Then with a steel beam, I base coated with Citadel Doombull Brown, again adding cold white for some highlights. Admittedly I was kind of phoning it in on the base at this point, but to be quite honest I had lost the drive to paint this model. Besides, this way it doesn't distract or take away from the model at all. At least that's, that's what I'll continue telling myself. Then a quick black strip around the edge of the base, and we had a completed model. There you have it, a mostly quick and fun paint job. If you exclude the couple of failed attempts, it was about a couple of hours. I felt it was important to keep those failed attempts in here. My primary reason for creating these videos is really to document my journey with mini painting, which is now about five months old. I want to ensure that I keep it honest and real for you, the viewer, and for myself. It's easy to look at all of these amazing paint jobs on social media, and I'm absolutely not including any of my work in that category. Anyways, it's easy to look at social media and think that they get it 100% right every single time, first try. And I'm absolutely certain that is not the case. So don't be afraid to put some paint down. If you don't like it, paint over it. If you really don't like it, prime it again. If you really, really don't like it, strip the model and start all over. Don't worry about it. Try things and have fun. Well, that's it from me. What's your recent painting success? Let me know in the comments below. And if you made it this far, you are an absolute legend. Help support the channel by liking the video and subscribing. It's absolutely free to you and it truly helps me out a ton. Thanks again for watching. You are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.